Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to what I guess is my June 2022 shout outs. As always, I have 10 channels, uh, they're all linked to you below. I encourage you to check them out. Without further ado, let's get started. Dane reads. So first up we have Fit To Be Read and they do some really interesting stuff. Wide mix really, but I mean uh, some of the recent videos they've been doing, well they did Cyberpunk Week. So they've got like what is Cyberpunk, Origins of Cyberpunk, um, and then even more recently than that uh, like a Nova by Samuel R. Delaney review. I've only read Babel by him, um, but yeah lots of cool science fiction stuff, lots of great tabs, and lots of book reviews so definitely do go ahead and check that out. Then we have Say Kevy, and Kevy, I haven't forgotten my promise that if you get your aunt to join uh, BookTube and make some videos, I'll give her a shout out and we'll all go and follow her. So we're waiting for that. Um, Kevy does some great stuff. There's some really interesting sort of transgender content and some drag content. I really encourage you to check out um, her old history of drag, I think it was called. Um, I'm just seeing if I can find it. I can't see it immediately on her, on her channel, but she did some old videos on like the history of uh, drag, which was really interesting. She did uh, Trans Girl April, and she's been doing some um, like original stories and stuff recently as well. So I, I definitely do recommend checking out Kevy's channel. All right, then we have Booking with Deborah, a very chill channel. Um, and a lot of cool stuff there. I mean, one of the highlights recently, she went to a charity shop, um, which I love going to charity shops as well. Um, she did the Library Loves tag, um, and took part of in a bunch of uh, TBRs. I guess I guess she's like the natural sequel to Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey, who I'm always like, just watch her. She reads she reads loads and does loads of TBRs. And it's the same with Deborah. So go go check uh, Deborah out if you haven't already. All right, then we have Cats and Camera. Big shout out to Kaz for her recent uh, solo travel vlog to Norway. It's about an hour and a half long, so I watched it when I was in the mood for a movie. I actually watched it over like two different days. But I really enjoyed it, and um, I'm really enjoying learning about like polar exploration through the books that she's reading and the things that she shares. Um, I was actually chatting to my mum and my granddad, uh, sharing her views on why Scott was an idiot. Because he was an idiot. We were all taught in schools, at least here in the UK, that he was this great hero. And he was he was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the North Pole, but, you know, instead of taking a dog sled, I'm just going to take some ponies. And then, surprise, surprise, what happens? Well, I don't want give it, to give it all away, but uh, I'm going out for a walk and I may be some time. I think that was him. I need to pay more attention to Kaz's videos. All right, then we have Charles Heathcote. And Charlie, uh, he works in a charity shop, speaking of charity shops, which is always good because he kind of picks out any French books they get donated and sends them over to me. Um, he's also a writer and I've actually been helping him with the edits on uh, Royally Doris which is the, I think it's the final book in the Doris series and um, yeah he's just a really great guy, really cool chill channel, his wall gathering videos are always a lot of fun. Um, I do suggest you go check him out. Alright then we have William's Diary. No, William's Library. My bad. Sorry, William. Um, so he's quite a new subscription for me, really. Uh, he's he's done uh, the BookTube newbie tag and a little addendum to it as well. Uh, I think I only saw the newbie tag. I don't think I saw the addendum, so I might have to check that out. Um, but he's recently, or at least at the time of filming, recently done his first book haul. Um, but what I thought was most interesting, he did a video comparing Fatherland to 1984. So if you've read either or preferably both of those, definitely go check that out. Okay, then we have Stormy Night Dragons. This is a, a very recent subscription for me, or at least I think it is. Um, they did uh, Vida, so vlog every day in April, and actually, uh, by the by the looks of it, they've had a little bit of a break from uploading for that, which is which is fair enough, you know. Um, but yeah, um, they've got some poetry out, so you can always check that out. Uh, the Whale Tag they did recently, and um, yeah, some Music Monday videos as well, which are always fun. I tend to watch those from when it's like people that I rec recognise, so like uh, M Music Monday, five songs I love from Fallen, which is the Evanescence album. Um, I don't know if I know all of the songs on Fallen, um, but I do know a few of them, so that was quite a fun one to watch. All right, then we have Book Seriously Man, who I try and shout out every now and then when I remember. Uh, he's a great guy from the north of England. Uh, I don't know where he lives, but that's where his accent's from anyway. And he does some really interesting stuff. So we were chatting about Chrome Yellow, which was Aldous Huxley's first novel. He's done The Rum Diary by Hunter S. Thompson recently, which is also another, another book that I read. Um, so he, he tends to read a lot of books that I've either read or that I'm interested in. So if you like the kind of stuff I read, you're gonna like the kind of stuff that he reads. Then we have Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. We occasionally do these little collaborations where um, one of you know I'll play guitar and sing and he'll play uh, harmonica. So we're actually probably about due another one of those. 
So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you've got any tunes you'd like us to do. Pr pretty much any Bob Dylan song we'll, we can probably do between us. Um, but as his, title, his channel title suggests as well, he does read a lot of big hard books and classics. So more recently, uh, he did Don Quixote. Uh, he's done a buddy read of Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut. I can't actually remember whether I've read that or not. Um, and a book on James Joyce, Portrait of a Dubliner as well. So very cool. Definitely check him out if you're into those big hard books and classics. And finally, we have Reading This Life, which is another more recent channel that I've subscribed to. Uh, they've got some tags up. Uh, what have we got here? She did a video on how to remove stickers from books, which is something that, you know, bothers us all. <laughs> Um, some reading wrap-ups and all of that kind of stuff, an unhaul, a shelf tour. Um, I've really been enjoying actually her um, booktube shout-outs, so she's on episode number 15 at the time of filming of her small uh, booktuber shout-outs. So again, if you like shout-out videos, and as you can tell by the fact that I'm filming this, I do, um, go ahead and check those out. So there we have it, those are 10 channels that I recommend for the month of June 2022. As always, don't forget to check out all the channel links below and to show some love for these booktubers. Uh, you can hit that like button on my video and subscribe to myself as well if you'd like to. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.